Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. It looks like we got a little break in the weather today. We're gonna be working in some soupy mess, but that's been the norm for the last week. The entire time we've worked on these columns and girts and stuff, it's been soupy like this, and today's gonna be no exception. Yesterday, I tried to do a film. I'll show you some of the footage from that. We got this one column up, but the thing was, I got everything set up. I set up like a kit of all the stuff that I needed, a waterproof kit so that if it started raining, I could just put everything away really quick. But it turned out that there's a lot of stuff that wouldn't fit in the kit, um, and it did start raining. But once I got everything all set and ready to go, I had no help. Everybody was doing something in the house, so I had to wait. And while I was waiting, I went down here and tossed up a whole bunch of these. But when help finally came, we got this column in place and just started screwing it down and it started raining again. So I had to quick get the bolt in there while it was raining and then I had to run around and get all the stuff that wouldn't fit in the container put away. Like the big Stabilo level, the saw was uncovered, and these clamps were out. Just a bunch of stuff was starting to get wet, and I had to hurry up and get that stuff covered up. This is my kit right here. Let me see if I could get the water off of this. It's got the two drivers that we were using the drill for the bolt holes the wrenches all that stuff and my adjustment sheet down there i'm still going to use this because it may drizzle today but i think i'm good to go and i'm hoping we can get all of these columns in today Okay, I'll show you what I do to prepare these columns. This is an end column. This is number nine, right there in that opening. So this gets this extension that's gonna catch the top of the truss there. Uh, you'll see more of that when I put the trusses in, but the trusses are gonna be screwed through the face of the truss into these. And that'll help keep everything nice and plumb on the ends there. So that'll be done last. First thing though, these boards were way off at the bottom. This board was much higher than the other ones. So I've done the best I could to get it clamped down. It's got a bunch of nails in it holding it, so kind of hard to do. And then I have this clamp pinching them together. I'm going to throw a couple screws in the top. And as you can see, it's still open at the bottom. So I'll take one clamp off, clamp the bottom, throw a couple screws in there, and then this should fit right into the bracket. If you don't tighten these up like that, and they're pretty wide open, it's not gonna even go down into the bracket. We did that on, I believe it was the second column, and it was up like three quarters of an inch to an inch. We had to screw on some cleating onto the side and beat it down with a mallet. In the end, we got it down, but there's no need to do all that stuff. Just a couple screws in the bottom after clamping it nice and tight will do the trick. Next thing I do, these cleats are made, this screw is put in first, and then this screw 
it has a shim at the top so that this is kind of splayed out. The girt fits right in here. These go right on the line. These lines are the lines that I created with my story pole in an earlier video. So you get it right on the line, screw it in place. Then once this is tipped up into place, you can see the ones on that one. You just put the girts right into it. And if the girt is crooked, you can straighten it out. There's a whole bunch of stuff that this helps out with. And I'll show you that stuff a little bit later. But first, I got to get the screws in here. I forgot to put these screws away last night. I really hate this soupy weather. I gotta make sure that if I drop screws on the ground that I get them picked up right away. I do not want to flat on one of these Gator tires. Oh, this gets really exhausting. The dog needs her exercise because she doesn't get out much when it rains like this. But when she needs to get out, I need to get out and get work done as well. And she'll do this all day if I let her. All right, let's get that screwed together. Okay, I have column number seven on the gator and it's ready to get its cleats. But first, you could see how bad this is. This is, oh, about 3.30 seconds and this is about a 16th. And with that much slop in it, it will not fit in the bracket. So I'm going to try to take this out as well. That's now oh, maybe an eighth of an inch or so. I'm going to try to clamp it here and then tighten it up and do the same as I did last time. Okay, I really couldn't pull this middle one down very much. It's nailed way back in there. And this thing is kind of a part way back in there as well. But that won't matter in the end. I did get it nice and tight and threw the screws in. Now I just need the cleats on here and we could stand this one up as well. I'll show you why it was taking so long to get this one done. This center board is about a quarter inch off from the other boards. That is just really poor quality control. There is no reason that you can't build these dead flush. All you got to use is a small hydraulic ram. You could even do a lever actuated hand clamp to push these nice and straight. Then get a couple nails in it and you'll have a dead straight column. But these Midwest manufacturing columns are just terrible. I would not buy columns from them again. <laughs> All right, I went in to get Natalie to help stand this one up, and she was still sleeping. So I woke her up. She came out here half asleep and still in her jammies, so I didn't film that. I will film the next one, though. All right, now for number seven. We'll get it loaded onto the gator, and this one just gets the bottom screwed together and brackets on it, so it shouldn't take too long. And it's gonna be that way for the rest, all the way down to the next corner. Okay, let's do this. Just slide her my way a bit. All right. 
right, now I need to level real quick. Oh, shoot. You are almost dead on with that line. At least that's the way it looks from here. Oh no, this level. Pull the end out on this level. I was using it for something else. All right, that should do it. Uh, it is touching the line. All right, get rid of that. Wait, wait a second, let me get it level. All right, that's level. Is it still touching? Just barely. All right, give her a real little tap. That should have did it. All right, let me get it level. It is still touching. All right, this, go ahead. this middle board is sticking out front. Yeah, I know, that middle board is a real pain in the butt. Still, but just barely. All right, how about now? Still. All right, go ahead. Hold on, I don't have the level on it. I'm still touching it. What the hell? All right, give her another tap. Oh, yeah, that was pretty hard. Yeah, because it's still touching it. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at this. Uh, is it, um, just give it, let me get this off of it and give it, give it a couple good taps or whatever it takes to get it over there. Uh, no, what the, that was too much. Is it good? Yeah. All right, let me get the level on it. All right, that's level. Cool. Dead level. Get get yeah. a screw in the uh, far side. It's far, it's farther away from those outside ones, but yeah, some of these columns were made incredibly bad. I mean, they're just piss poor. Like there's no quality control. Still level, one more. Thank you, honey. I'll give you a call when I need you again.
We finished off this last column maybe an hour ago. I've been cleaning up and setting up to cut some girts. The girts need to be cut to exact length. Rough lumber is, you know, right around a half inch long. This is an 18 inch board, so it's got to be cut, or 18 foot board, so it's got to be cut to exactly 18 feet, and then it gets butted up to the very end. Well, actually this one's going to go right through there. It's going to be in the very center of that column, and then on this column right here, you could see that this column curves like that. I'll pull the column until the end of that board is right down the center, and then this column will be plumb in that direction. It's a lot of work, but if everything is exactly the right length, it'll be way more plumb and square in the end. Any of these girts that touch the corner are an inch and a half shy because the building dimensions go to right here and they're an inch and a half shy of that. But anything that's in the middle is gonna be the exact dimension that it needs to be, in this case, 18 feet. So basically on the back here, the only ones that are the exact dimension are the ones in the center. The ones on the side are all an inch and a half shy. I need two clamps. I'm trying to figure out what else I need. Two clamps, two ladders, my hammer, some nails. Yeah, I gotta get out all this stuff and I'll be putting it away real soon. It's getting dark already, so I better hurry this up. Okay, that is gonna wrap it up for today. I got that board in place and got it all butted up and I started to make some pencil lines and it's getting really hard to see. It's very overcast and it's getting very late. It's gonna be dark in a little bit, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. But that board, this board right here is the one I just put in. It's nice and tight on that joint down there and you could see that it's supposed to be right on the center of the center board up there. And I'll yank it over and get it screwed in right where it needs to be. And that'll straighten out this column. I'll do the same on the rest of the girts as well. And in the end, that column will be dead plumb. Okay, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to put away. And I'm kind of beat as well. So, tomorrow... I will be putting a whole bunch of girts in. On this back one, I have to get a girt in, like what I just did. Once that's fastened, I can only take out the center one. I'll put the center one on that far side, get that board in, and I'll continue like that until the whole back is done. The side here has all the brackets it needs to get the vast majority of the girts in. And then once that's all done, I got another girt going around the bottom, and then I got to do the grade boards. I'm running to town. Well, actually, I'm saying I'm doing this stuff tomorrow, but I'm not. It's going to be a rain day tomorrow, and I'm running to town for the grade boards. Those are treated, and they're very long, so that's going to be a hugely heavy load. So if I have the use of my truck tomorrow, I'm not really sure if I'm going to have it or not. It's in the shop from when it broke down. But it should be here tomorrow, and I'll go and get the grade boards going around right to halfway, right in the middle there. They're very heavy, and I don't want to overload that old truck. Once that's done, I'll go get the grade boards for the other side. I also have to frame in for the windows, the doors, bunch of stuff. So if you want to see all that stuff, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.